Wow. In losing to the Seattle Seahawks at home 34-7, getting absolutely blown out, the New Orleans Saints find themselves with suddenly a very huge problem. Coming to New Orleans Sunday night are the Carolina Panthers, and the Panthers have something that the Seattle Seahawks do not have, the NFL's best defense. The Seahawks posted the NFL's second best defense, and they have a mobile quarterback and a young team. The Saints in this game proved that they were not a good come-from-behind organization. They waited too long to go into the huddle, too long to go into a five-wide receiver offense or some type of offensive formation that would get the Seahawks out of their zone defenses, and in general, failed many times to throw right on time and get the ball off quickly. By contrast, the Seahawks won by doing what they do best. They attack first, they, they strike, they're quick, they don't hold on to the football very long at all. They get Rufus Wilson throws the ball on time, and he makes fast decisions, and more often than not, the decisions are correct because the plays that they call are in their design efficient. That is, you're not going to see Wilson trying to throw to someone deep who isn't open, and that's by design. I'm very impressed with the offense of the Seattle Seahawks. But that aside, the bottom line is if the Saints had practiced a game plan that relied less on play action and less on the run, they would have done a better job. Don't know if they would win, but that's beside the point. Because here come the Carolina Panthers. And right now, the Panthers are in a battle that they've always wanted to be in, and that is for domination of the NFC South right against the New Orleans Saints. And I think they can win.